Good morning, good afternoon or evening. My name is David Castillo and welcome to a new video for this channel and let's get in into a deep dive to SolidWorks MBD. So come with me and see the next video. As a first example for this, we have a native SOLIDWORKS file and we can use the MBD technique by activating into the tabs the MBD dimensioning. These options for MBD could be uh, larger options if you have the premium, premium license and but you have it since the standard version. You can find the team expert uh, manager and uh, for the start of the modeling you can have a first approach by using the auto dimensioning do the uh, option of auto dimensioning depending of the parts you have to select prismatic if you have a, a regular part or a turned one if it's mainly by revolution then you have the option for plus minus the geometric, uh, a good start could be the geometric and using linear or polar dimensioning. So let's start with linear. Then you will add the datums, the main datums. You can you choose between your natural planes on the file or a mix between the planes on, on the file or the natural planes and some uh, feathers or some uh, planes directly from the model. As example, I will choose this uh, lower part of the surface for the primary datum. As the secondary, I will choose a, a, right, a right view. And for the third one, I'm going to use the other natural view. You can choose the scope. I will choose all the feeders and you can choose manually which uh, parts will be dimensioning. I will choose all and click OK for the auto dimensioning. In this case, uh, it's pretty easy because we have natural operations for the SOLIDWORKS part, so it will be easy to have all the dimension required. But what if in the case of imported parts that we don't have a process or operations into the into the tree. So we also can use the approach on the DMX manager for the auto dimensioning or we can choose uh, between the feeders for MBD and selecting planes or faces and have dimensions added. Also, we can choose for the size of the holes. In this case, this is a counter boring operation. And also for the counter bore, it's getting me the options for the complete counter board, even if it's not a feeder natural in SOLIDWORKS. So not only works for uh, native SOLIDWORKS uh, solids, it is also work with for, for imported parts. And not also work for solid uh, parts. Another example for this is using MBD into the assembly files since uh, we don't have the tab for MBD into these into the assemblies we have the DIM expert manager and also for uh, the special condition of, of assemblies we can choose the option for bill of materials 
activate it select a plane or an annotation view and have it attached into the model the BOM also with the help of the Mexpert manager we can add dimensioning from some critical points and we can add this dimensioning for the model so it's pretty easy to add also this dimensioning into the into assemblies another way to have this information presented it's the PDF or the 3D PDF file, so you can set templates into the MBD operations and place views or predetermined views and have it printed into the 2D. This is a more universal exchangeable file, so we can see it and everyone can see it because the PDF is a, it's a very universal file. So what is uh, MBD? MBD is model-based definition or model-based design. It's a way to present all the information for a model and its manufacturing process without the need of, a, have, uh, of drawings or a 2D planes. And we have all the dimensioning and all that needed for manufacturing. Uh, also, all this uh, manufacturing information is known as PMI, Product Manufacturing Information. And these are all the information used to manufacture a product and may also include bills of materials, GDNT, and custom specification. Why the use of MBD? The current trend is the use of digital information, avoiding the use of print paper as well as the evolution of a communication allow us to have uh, work groups based at different locations at the world. And MB MBD is a good way to share in that specification by a single document. Uh, the, by MBD, the solid files do not need to be a uh, solid works or any other software native. It could be imported from different formats and can be accurately uh, dimensioned. For the implementation uh, of the first steps, we may face the lack of enough licenses for 3D visualization. So there's an option to have a uh, PDF files so we can see it. And also there's another way to so we can see it on e-drawings as a, pre as a presentation for the solid file. Uh, let's get into hands-on for some exercises. And the last type for presenting the information or the PMI, it's by using the properties of e-drawings. You can directly save your SolidWorks file, your part or assembly part, or your assembly file and you can save it as is and when you open it directly into the e-drawings you can see all that you have done for the dimensioning or placing all the PMI for a model and you can see it directly into e-drawings this is a uh, this MBD is more like a more than a model into SolidWorks it's more like a technique there's also other kind of design softwares that use this MBD and this is a trend for the future to uh, use directly one model or one file and you have all the information 
for manufacturing or fabrication. Uh, I expect that this uh, video is useful for you, so I ask you for your likes and your subscription and stay tuned for next videos. So the, for this video is it's everything, uh, we'll see you soon, bye.